Divesting, I think, is, is prudent. That's a risk-reducing way uh, to, to avoid quite a long list of potential problems from lawsuits to loss of business as the world realizes the seriousness of climate change. Investing um, is different. It's a new, rapidly growing part of the market, but it has a terrific uh, potential. I'm Jeremy Grantham, the co-founder of a financial firm. My big passion in life these days is the environment. I think it's an existential threat. It really does threaten the existence of a really agreeable planet with huge biodiversity and it even threatens the existence of our favorite species, Homo sapiens. We're flying through space. We had exactly the resources we were endowed with. There are no space stations to refuel at. Um, there's no place we can go to clean up and, and fix things. This is uh, all we have. We did some interesting new work on divestment in which we established that divesting from any one of 10 major groups, including energy, really has not made that much difference. So it turns out that what investment committees have been saying for 100 years or longer, I've seen maybe 2,000 of them, is an old wives' tale, or in this case, uh, an old husband's tale, because they're all men. They're a very conservative group, and, and in this case, they happen to be absolutely wrong. If you decide to get out of energy, uh, the best assumption is that it will be a matter of 10, 20, 25 basis points at most for the next 20 years. And it is just as likely to help you, says the data, as to hurt you. And that's because this is the first time where a major chunk of the players have been systematically uh, brainwashed by the fossil fuel industry. Powerful corporations have never controlled government policy more than they do today. 60% of Republicans uh, are persuaded that climate change does not exist. A lot of them are in the stock market. It's hard to believe that would not have impacted the prices. So if you will, they are betting against the scientific data. I think that gives us a very decent chance that fossil fuel are overpriced in the market. Capitalism has no way of dealing with the fact that it's encouraged a methodology that in a hundred years leaves you with no soul and no soil. If anyone behaved in their personal life as if profit maximizing was the only thing that mattered, they would be treated quite rightly as a sociopath. The one thing we know for sure about renewables is that they will have a top line revenue uh, growing faster than the rest of the market. The fossil fuel companies have actually done a pretty good job of deceiving the public. Why would we own industries that are liable to be sued? We, we have caught these guys out. We, we know that they have changed uh, the story. Uh, we know that they have deliberately misled us, exactly the same as tobacco. They are facing the headwind of decarbonizing. They're facing the headwind of carbon taxes, which will uh, crop up here and there around the world, guaranteed increasingly over the next 20 years. What I would say to the older generation who are still investing is, for God's sake, wake up and divest. This is serious. Pay attention. You're never too old to pay attention and use your brains.